start of speaking on Rumi's course again. Rumi said, raise your words, not voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. When he said, raise your words, he was trying to tell, raise your spirit, not your lecture. Raise your words, not your voice. Rumi said, raise your words means he was telling, trying to tell, be a practitioner, not a preacher. You can preach, you can enter the temple only after you have sweated it out terribly. Rumi said, raise your words, not your voice. He said, do your exercise, do your work in your field. And when you sweat it out, you can come back and you don't have to have voice. The food enters your body without you knowing. Not voice means you will have a beautiful sleep. Otherwise, you'll be turning this side and that side is noise and voice. Rumi said, raise your words, means raise your standard of your living. Instead of taking a rented house or staying in a pigeonhole apartments, and then you like to live in those apartments like a school where the school principal will be sitting there like the apartment president. The watchman will be standing with the stick to find out whether you're carrying this and that. Move out from that. Raise your standard of living by going back into your beautiful field. It's your family field. Not your voice. Means it is just noise in the apartments. Noise in the school. It is rain that grows flowers. Yes, when you have practical experience, you will not pluck it. You will water it. When you like it, you will pluck it. If you love it, you will water it. That is what Rumi meant it. Raise your words, not voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. All others is Western music, a lot of noise, like our Republic TV, Arnab Goswami, lot of thunder and noise, and people don't understand what is happening, but they were interested in listening the next door, people fighting at each other, husband and wife, and they are very happy. Hence, Republic TV's TRP ratings is very high. And KGF 2, yes, became the follower of Arnab Gosom. Raise your words, not your voice. And Arnav Goswami has reversed, he raised the voice, but no words at all. Nobody will understand. So the whole KGF 2 is full of voice and sound and zero stuff. And that is where you can fool people. Because the people has been brainwashed from very long time to get attracted to all that glitters, the glittering, the big sound, yes. The difference between our Indian children and the Japanese children. My Indian children, the moment they hear the drumbeat or some noise on the street, 
they all leave the rooms and run up to the windows to watch. Even though they know it's a dead body going on, so they still wanted to watch. Yes, they get attracted because they have been hypnotized for even five rupee note. They can sell anything and everything. They forget that value. But I seen now Kisa, Rio Chisa, and Mikisa, and especially Mikisa working. I go and stand next to him and make a big noise with around 10, 20 people explaining what Mikisa is doing. Mikisa will not even lift the head up because he's rooted in his work. You cannot brainwash them. The whole Indian society has been brainwashed. Otherwise, how will the political leaders get so many people, so many, so much a crowd for their stupid lectures? Rumi said, raise your words, not voice. Yes. Raise your words means that doesn't mean you go to Bhagavad Gita. Quran, Bible, Ramayana, more and more words already. Swamiji's, Guruji's, temple priests, and everybody has spoken a lot directly or indirectly by bringing some king stories. But not a word. Raise your words means let the temple save rainwater harvesting and solar. That is what my people wanted. When there is enough water, Throughout the year, you don't have to give them rations during the corona. It grows of its own. When there is solar lights, they feel happy because they also learn to take something from the sun god and convert it into light so that they can avoid robbers, wild animals and snakes. Not a word has been spoken in KGF to have you listened. And that director who is stupid has taken a scriptwriter who is stupid. And not a word, of, they talked about the poor, but not a single camera has shot a poor man's house. How he has got rainwater, he has got water throughout the year and solar and from where he can get his organic food and how a family can be very happy by practicing culture. That is what Rumi said, raise your words. That is the raising of your words, not your voice, high-tech technology of Michael Jackson solely. No, it's many times my Japanese friends told me, music, is this music only noise? And my children are telling me, tumba jora, Habba tumba jora. Means the festival was very big. And one day I went with them, I didn't find anything, not even they, anybody talking about how to take care of your family and how to use this festival money to make sure that the whole village will get solar and uh, rainwater house, nothing. Lot of dirty shops selling all the dirty sweets. They saw the crowd and the music is so much dirty music around the temple and it is jor, means it is high. <laughs> My people have been brainwashed. To me, sir, raise your words, not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers. Yes. It is your love which says a flowering smile, not thunder. My people, my students stay with me for post-graduation or after that to write civil service examination. But if I try to rub them, to polish them, they go wild because that was not what they wanted. They wanted non-stop patting 
and petting to tell them that they are good, they know they are stupid and they do not want anybody to correct their stupidness. Only when they are stupid can they go around and tell, I'm suffering, nobody is helping me, nobody is talking to me. Suffering has become very close to their thinking of happiness and God. 